hello guys welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for the consumers who's using samsung android smartphone of any series and this video is especially for s series okay so if you're using samsung android smartphone of s series and if your smartphone samsung smartphone s series is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock then after hard reset of your samsung android smartphone when you will switch on your phone you will get a sus type of display where you will get welcome display english uh, language option start button and emergency call up button okay when you will go through all the process in this display and start with the start button go to the agree more and agree now go to the okay one more thing i would like to tell you my friend that your phone should be connected to the wi-fi network so i am going to connect my phone to the wi-fi network you will have to also connect your phone to the wi-fi network my friend So here you will have to connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network. Now, now after when your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network, your next page will be appear to your phone display. Let's check what happened to the next page here. Now here you can see after factor data and hard reset you will ask to again use your pin pattern and password lock. So but here you can see here you will get an another option that is showing here use my Google account instead. When you will tap on this option you will switch to a new page and you can see here the new page has been appeared on your phone display and the new page you can see here it's of Google that is showing that verify your account with the help of gmail id and password so if you have your gmail id and password then you can easily feed your gmail id and password and go through the next option but you can see here if you don't have your gmail id and password you are not getting any skip option on this page okay so here in this video i will tell you how you will get a skip option on this page and this page is known as frp log page which is generated by google because when your phone is stolen and this is a security purpose google account gmail account credential okay so here in this video i will show you with the help of some setting changes how you can bypass your frp lock of your samsung s series model firstly you will have to reach to the starting page like this here first of all you will have to change your language firstly you will have to switch your language from english india to english us then after go to the ok now you can see here you will get an another option that is showing here emergency call simply you will have to tap on this emergency call and here you will have to dial star has zero star has when you will dial star has zero star has you will switch to a new page and the new page will show like this you will get a lots of option you will have to firstly tap on this sensor option and here you will have to tap on this self test you will get a result down after that go to the back option and here you will have to tap on this display when you will tap on this display option you will get some synchronizing option and here you will have to wait until you get a 20 result on your phone display minimum maximum there is no limit but minimum you will have to wait until you get a 20 result on your phone display okay so just wait for 20 result here So here you can see the minimum 20 result has been appeared on the phone display. Now after that you can easily go to the back option here and back to the starting page here. Okay. Now again you will have to start this button. Go agree to all and agree from this page. 
now go to the more and agree from this page where the wi-fi network will be show here you will have to activate your phone's talkback option and for this you will help uh, you will have to press the power button and the volume up button press hold and release to switch on your talkback option now after that you will have to tap on this use now again you will have to repeat here now here you will have to draw a opposite l like this now you will have to double tap on this while using the app now you will have to double tap on this use voice commands open google assistant open setting now when your phones show your setting space on your phone display you will have to firstly switch off your talkback option and for this you will have to repeat the process power button and the volume up button press hold and release now you can see here that your phone's talkback option has been switched off now uh, lots of viewers says that your phone is not locked so you can see here at the top of the corner of the phone you will get a lock uh, animation you can see here so this phone is locked due to frp lock okay now after that you will have to make some changes in your setting page firstly you will have to scroll down and you will have to come to the option that will show here lock screen you have to tap on this whenever you tap on this option the first option will show here screen lock type and you will get here swipe but you can see here it's not working don't worry at all simply you will have to scroll down and you will have to come on this fingerprint option you will have to tap on this one when you will tap on this fingerprint option you will get a continue pop-up you will have to tap on this first time now after first time you will have to wait for minimum two seconds now after that continue you will have to tap on this option five time one two three four and five now the work has been done go to the back option and you will have to tap on this about lock screen option when you will tap on this uh, about lock screen option here you will have to tap on this open source license now here you will get a lots of text on your phone display but here you will have to copy this url you will also get a url on your phone display you will have to copy this url from here okay now copy from here go to the back option and again you will have to go to the back and again back now from here you will have to exit from settings page close now after that you will have to go to the option that will show here add network option and here you will have to come on this setting page here now firstly you will have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here reset to default setting tap on this option and here you will have to reset the keyboard settings and you will have to tap on this erase personalized predictation and erase from here go to the back option here now firstly you will have to change the language and again here you will have to switch off the english india and switch off the english us okay now go to the back again back now after that you will have to come on this text shortcut option here you will have to tap on this add option and here you will have to paste that url what you had copied from the setting page and here you will have to type or ussd that is a star has zero star and has after that you will have to tap on this add option go to the back now after that the last setting you have to do here go to the layout option and here you will have to tap on this button and symbols layout select this alternative and go to the apply and ok now after that you will redirectly to the new page and go to the back option and go to the starting page here now you will have to start all the process because all the settings has been done in this samsung s series now simply you will have to tap on this start option and go through all the process again go to the more agree and go to the next option now here you will have to select this don't copy option here now my friend you can see here where the gmail id and password was asking you are getting here a skip option now you don't need to remember your gmail id password now you can easily tap on this skip option and skip this page it means your phone's frp has been completely bypassed frp lock has been disabled from here now after that simply you have to tap on this skip option to skip this gmail id credential page now go to the more and accept 
now after that you will have to select a new pin pattern and password lock if you want to use new pin pattern and password lock otherwise you can also skip this here but right now i will use a new pattern lock here now after that it's a simple setup of your smartphone because your phone has been completely frp bypassed now you won't stuck anywhere in this setup of your samsung s series model go to the next skip from this page here you will get a pop-up that you're all set up simply you have to tap on this finish option go to the agree select a language you can also skip but i will suggest you select a single language from this page select your gender and your age criteria then go to the next from this page tap on this continue here finish this page so my friend here you can see the samsung android smartphone has been completely unlocked with the pattern and frp has been completely bypassed because you can see here the phone has been completely switched on and what you had applied a new password that will show here you can see here i had applied a new password uh, sorry pattern lock you can see here the pattern lock is working here now your phone is completely frp bypassed and if you want to also bypass your frp lock of your samsung android smartphone then watch this video very carefully and use the every step very carefully because if you skip a single step in this video then you will comment that your method is not working and you will have to watch this video again and you will have to comment in our comment box so i will uh, suggest you that watch this video very carefully and uh, apply all the process okay so thank you so much in and uh, see you next videos with the next tips and tricks thank you so much